I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is Psych Hacks, Better Living Through Psychology. And the subject of today's short talk is look for solutions. It's easy to look for and find problems. They're all around us. And this is because the world is inherently unsatisfactory. That's one of the core attributes of reality, according to the Buddha, at least. The world is unsatisfactory, and we're surrounded by problems. Therefore, it is not a testament to your perceptivity, cleverness, or intelligence to identify problems. That's like finding sand at a beach. It's very easy to do. Looking for problems is not emblematic of any positive virtues. On the other hand, it is very much a testament to your perceptivity, cleverness, or intelligence to identify solutions. Generally, identifying solutions requires a good deal more concentration, diligence, and creativity than does identifying problems. Looking for solutions is emblematic of positive virtues. And it's important to understand that if you can find problems, then you can find solutions. The action finding is the same in both cases. What you're doing doesn't change. The only thing that changes is the object of your doing. Instead of looking for one thing, you look for another. The looking remains the same. And this is good news if you're habituated to looking for problems. It shouldn't be a difficult problem to fix. On some level, it's like a compass that's exactly 180 degrees off. If you turn around and just walk in the opposite direction, then your compass actually suddenly becomes a reliable instrument of action with no additional retooling. Now, looking for solutions requires a certain degree of attentional discipline. However, the ability to identify a potential solution from among an abundance of problems is a mark of the exceptional individual. Refining this capacity will redound to your benefit. I hope this was helpful. If you'd like to suggest a topic for a future episode, or you'd like to schedule a consultation, you can reach me at psychhackspodcast at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.